going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. This farm's up to the Today, JAHD Modding announces a DB90 for console players. Slusha's Modding's John Deere self-propelled mower is with Giants for testing. Connect Modding teased the update to their cotton pack. Tired Iron Modding's New Holland gets a big upgrade. Whiskey Sierra Modding has new information on the Case IH Maxim. Pulse FS teases the front of a new vehicle. Black Eyes Modding also teased the front of a new vehicle, but I think we know what this one is. Judge Modding have a new cow shed. Chavez shows new screenshots from his next map, Shamburg Valley. Lancy Boy's Oak Hill is with Giants for testing but it's only the console version. Plus, we've got new screenshots and new textures. <laughs> Oxygen David has new season's textures for his next map, Comston Farm. Let's check it out. Before we get into today's top stories, let's address something that tons of you have been asking about that has been mentioned and covered several times within these videos, the release and return of mods. Giants announced back in December that mods would be returning on Monday, January the 11th. I even have a video titled, No Mods Till Jan 11th that goes over everything. Remember that there are no release dates for individual mods, though they may be returning to publicly test and announce mods on Monday. There are no release dates for any mod, be it a map, tractor, script, anything. Form some news is about what modders are working on and what we could see in the future, and about official news and information and announcements from Giant Software, including the testing list when it is updated. That being said, Let's get into today's top stories. And let's start with something that we thought we would never see, the John Deere DB90 36 row planter by JAHG Modding for all platforms. As we were told back a few months ago when we got the DB60 on ModHub, we thought the new version of the DB90 would be PC only. But in true fashion, it comes through with some big game changing news. John Deere DB90 coming to consoles. Do keep in mind that this is very likely a completely new version as the one that he made back in 2020 as a high poly count, probably way too high for consoles, but it is awesome that he's heard your calls and are making yet another John Deere DB planter for console players to enjoy. With this 27 meter working width, this is going to completely demolish the largest planters that we have in game. This is still in the early stages, so do keep that in mind, but it is being worked on. A2 Studio coming in hot today with something that will make the red team very happy, though there will be other designs as well. Of course, we're talking about the TLX 9000 Rigid Module number three. This is the enclosed attachment version. This module will feature loading mechanism options like standard roll-up door, lift gate, oh yeah, or vehicle ramps, all of which have been highly requested. And to finish it off, there will be different liveries for you to add, though the rest of these options have not been announced as of yet. If you want to watch this mod being created live, check out the links below beside A2 Studio YT. Solutions Modding have officially sent off their John Deere 2280 to Giants for testing for all platforms. Unlike the W260 mower that we talked about yesterday from Polygon Modding, this is an older version and will look great with your 40 series or 55 series John Deere's. It is very exciting that players will have the option to not only choose the new mower that's being worked on, but the older one that's with Giants for testing right now and from none other than Slusha's Modding. Great job, guys. Connect Modding teased their John Deere 9996 Loose Cotton Harvester today, something that we haven't heard or seen anything from in a while. It's been almost two months since the mod was released, that date being November the 12th. Well, what do we know? We know that they were talking back in November, they were planning on an update to the pack, and we know that they had teased new additions to the pack, like the Case IH Harvester Loose Harvester, that could be coming with that and things like that. But unfortunately, they've been pretty quiet about the pack since then, and I would expect to see maybe some things showcased sometime soon, hopefully. Tired Iron Modding have some great news on their new Holland Combine. As you can see, lots has happened since the last time we showed this mod off. They say after 16 hours of hard work, the bottom of the Combine was completed. And amazingly, Tyson McCrary came in with a very generous donation, the cab from his new Holland TR-98 that was started a while back. The cab for this model is pretty much the same, but a few things were added to make it completely accurate. With all that, what's left to do? Well, they have the bolts for the body panel and around the combine itself, decals, finishing the cab, and rims. Once the TR-96 is done, all they have to do is scale the main body and adjust the decals to make it a TR-86. After that, they can model up the 8595 cap and have all the modeling complete for all four models. They finish by saying that they think all the modeling will be done by the end of this week and then they will start scripting. As we mentioned before, this mod is intended for PC only because they want to get better before submitting a mod for consoles. Whiskey Sierra Modding shows off a sneak peek of their Case IH Maxim US mod that was announced yesterday. They say that the cab is still being used as a stand-in and still needs parts and doors separated, but the mod is coming along nicely. 
As we mentioned yesterday, we don't know if this mod is for all platforms or just PC, but it is very exciting to see more US style mods being worked on, especially from great modders like Whiskey Sierra. Pulse FS is back with us today with a teaser and nothing more. What do you think is being teased here? Obviously some sort of vehicle, possibly a smaller truck or something like that, but I have no idea what it could be. Drop your ideas below. Check out Hulse FS in the link below. Here's another mod tease. This one by Black Eyes Official Modding, but I think this one's pretty clear. Did someone say Vespa? Oh yeah, I think they did. Black Eyes are known for making great Italian mods, this one being no different. But you may ask, why do we need this? Because it's awesome. Dutch Modding Inc. The same modders making the Duport Slurry Tank that we've talked about are working on a new cow shed. This mod definitely resembles their other mods like this and I think will look great when paired with the other Dutch Modding Inc. mods. They don't give any other information, only saying to stay tuned for more information, which will be coming soon. Chaba shows off some new screenshots from his next map, Schamburg Valley. He has been teasing this map and showcasing different locations around the map for the past few weeks, maybe month or two, and it is great seeing this map progress. Chaba is the same modder that brought us the old farm countryside, as well as all of the versions to La Cornella and some other great mods that lots of you enjoy. I look for this one to be one of their best maps yet. Lancy Boy gives us an update on his latest map, Oak Hill, today, saying that the console version has been submitted to Giants for testing and that the PC version is still being worked on and will be uploaded at a later date. I want to thank Lancy Boy for sending over Oak Hill to take a look at, not only a few months ago, but here recently, and I'm going to be showing it off once we have final versions to show you. I can add to this that the map is absolutely beautiful and you guys are really going to enjoy playing on this map once it is released. And lastly today, we hear from Oxygen David regarding his new map, Comsden Farm. He says that the map is now seasons compatible with all new custom seasons textures for trees, hedges, foliage, grass, and things like that. We've seen things like this before, but a complete overhaul of the seasons texture is going to make this beautiful map look like none other. But the end of this video is just like the rest of them, complete with cringy transitions. Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There are no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes only most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for up-to-date information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Later. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Enjoy the Goham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be set. Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel later today because I have a new video coming out of two mods that you guys have been real excited about.